This is question 24, have a go. Okay, now there are a number of ways of doing this, but I think the quickest way is to almost work out the bit that you don't need and take it away from one. We're being asked to work out the probability she takes two different types of sandwiches. So you could go through the whole combination, egg cheese, egg ham, cheese ham, and all, what have you. But why not just do it the other way? Why not work out what is the chance that you don't have two different types? So egg, egg, cheese, cheese, ham, ham work out that probability and because obviously the all probabilities add up to one take that away from one so that's what I've decided to do I'm going to do one take away the probability of egg egg cheese cheese and ham ham so what's the probability of egg egg well getting an egg is four out of eleven now once I've taken one egg sandwich there are then three egg sandwiches left out of the remaining 10 sandwiches so that's why it's 4 out of 11 times 3 out of 10 because I've only got 10 to choose from having taken the initial egg sandwich so that's my egg probabilities now I times those two together remember an egg followed by another an egg is egg and then another egg and an and is always a multiplication so that's why we're timesing there now cheese cheese chances of a cheese to start with is 5 out of 11 and once that's gone the chance of then getting a cheese is only 4 out of 10 and ham ham well that's 2 out of 11 and then 1 out of 10 so remember how you multiply fractions it's top times top bottom times bottom so multiplying out these three here we get these three probabilities now I don't care whether it's egg egg or cheese cheese or ham ham and an or is always an adding so we're basically adding these three together now remember how you add fractions once you've got the same denominator the denominator remains unchanged and you just add the, th the numerators together and that gives us this and then effectively what I've got here remember a whole is effectively 110 over 110 so 110 take away 34 is 76 over my numerator of 110 a denominator of 110 excuse me now I could simplify this you, obviously they're both even that's fine but it doesn't ask for it in the simplest form so I'm just going to leave it there